Everybody slept really, really well out here. Everyone's in high spirits. And today we're going to work our way up toward Coldfoot. Uh, we're going to stop by the Arctic Circle. We're going to hit Finger Rock and have another wonderful day on the road. So we got about 170 miles to go today on these dirt roads. Everyone's feeling really comfortable with their rigs. So this should be a lot of fun. Let's do it. Check this out. It looks like our paint is peeling. And everybody's pretty muddy. Ember just laid in a puddle. So that's why it's heaven out here. But we do need to find her maybe a lake because she thought that was her leg. So one of the advantages of the Rebel is actually being able to use our gravity fill for water. So in this spot in particular, they don't have hose connections to fill up with water, but you can use gravity fill. So everyone's refilling with their water while we're here real quick. Today we're going about 170 miles. Is that time for me to get some water? <laughs> And it's 10:12. We're getting ready to leave, and one of our group members is filling up with some water, and we're getting ready to take off. But we're going for about 170 miles, and our first stop is going to be Finger Rock. And this is one of our favorite stops along the way because it's a rock that is looks like a finger, and it looks like it's pointing in a direction that, if you think about the old days and back when they were hunting mammoths, it looks like it's pointing to where the animals should be. Anyway, it's a really cool stop, and then after that, we're going to stop at the Arctic Circle. Every single time we've stopped at the Arctic Circle, the mosquitoes have been horrendous. Everybody around us has these head nets, and I have one, but I haven't pulled it out yet. But I think that when we get to the Arctic Circle, I have a hunch that it's going to be pretty bad up there. And then from the Arctic Circle, we're going to go up to Coldfoot, and then from Coldfoot, we'll fill up on diesel and head up to our campground, which is Marion Creek. Marion Creek is a campground, but it doesn't have services such as showers and electricity and um, anything special like that. So that's our day. We're excited for it, and hopefully we'll see some animals. And if you notice, each time those trucks go by us, they give us a courtesy wave because that means that they appreciate that we pulled over and gave them the right of way. Pretty and slippery. Just got into an area where we're smelling smoke. So it's a good time to hit on your air recirculation. We're at mile 73 and we just passed where the fires were that they were worried about crossing the road here. And three days ago we were told about the fires, but they have them contained. 
and it wasn't a concern. Now we're coming up on Sand Hill. So as we were talking about before, this is the area where they film Ice Road Truckers, the television series. like we have some weather ahead of us. Sounds good. This is a good area to be looking for caribou to. Harvesting fireweed so Cynthia can make fireweed jam tonight. fireweed jelly tonight. I need eight cups of fresh fireweed and I think this is going to be the tasty stuff. This should do it. That was a wonderful stop. We were there for about a half hour. Took a little walk and enjoyed the scenery, which has started to change really fast. The weather started to change really fast as well.
Welcome to the Arctic Circle, ladies and gentlemen. to the Arctic Circle! Thank you! <laughs> she did it!
Is everybody good and ready to roll out? About two minutes. Chris is still in the bathroom. The Arctic Circle was a hit and everybody was really excited to be there. We got amazing pictures. We just had a really good time. The energy was just fabulous. So dodging potholes. <laughs> and while Jim dodges potholes. Our next stop is going to be Cold Foot Camp where we're going to stop and visit the visitor center, fuel up on diesel. I think we can grab snacks there too. There's a restaurant and also just take a breather and get ready to be at camp where Cynthia is going to make her famous fireweed jelly. I think we're all really excited about that. Truck. Truck coming from the front. 